Ag Secretary Tom Vilsack also addressing reporters at the White House this week, defending $5 billion worth of funding for black farmers as part of the president's American Rescue Plan. Vilsack saying the funding was meant to address the cumulative effect of systemic racism from the Department of Agriculture. I think you have to take you back uh, 20, 30 years uh, when we know for a fact uh, that socially disadvantaged producers were discriminated against by the United States Department of Agriculture. Uh, we, we know this. Uh, we have reimbursed people in the past for those acts of discrimination, but we've never absolutely dealt with the cumulative effect. And by cumulative effect, I mean this. When I have the full advantage of all the USDA programs uh, throughout the last 30 years, my operation could grow. I could invest in more land. I could get the latest and best technology. I could plant my crop at just the right time. I could make more money. If I had limited access or no access to USDA programs, obviously my operation significantly limited. So the American Rescue Plan's effort is to begin addressing the cumulative effect of that discrimination in terms of socially disadvantaged producers. A legal challenge against the plan was filed by the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty saying the move violates equal protection rights because it excludes white farmers solely on the basis of race. Vilsack said USDA will press forward with the program despite the pending litigation.